YouTube Conductor165 here, and as one by the vote, we're going to be talking about Old Grumpy here, Devious Diesel. Now, I'm surprised to see how much information is on this engine. So first off, he was first produced in 2010, with the box on screen now. But throughout this, when he was being produced on a single package, he would also have a remake in 2013, with the box on screen now. And in 2014 with the box on screen now. I believe those were the single boxes, but the source I got the information from didn't explain it too well. So I don't know if he had any more boxes. If he did, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure I'll be really interested to find out. However, he did come in multi-packs. So for example, there was Steamies vs. Diesel Diesels, and there was two versions of this. There was the original later date, they're both on screen now. And there's also Diesel's Engine Repair, as shown on screen now. I'm not going to say it, they're all off screen. Diesel's Spider Delivery. Diesel's Mine Discovery. And Diesel Works Fix Up. These all included Diesel and other characters, so he had a lot of multi packs. They treated him like he was uh, an original character or, as many people call him, the main antagonist, because he is Devious Diesel. Also, where it comes to variations, there was a Talking Diesel, and there was a Pull and Zoom Diesel. The Pull and Zoom means you pull him back and he goes forwards. A bit like, um, some of the LEGO Technic cars that they do now. And the Talking one, I don't have it, but when I do, I will go through the phrases that it has. And that concludes the history of Take and Play Diesel. How about we have a look around him, see what he has to offer. So first off, the detail definitely shows you the diesel. You've actually got open cab windows. Oh, by the way, I've been working on a model, so I've got paint on my fingers again. Seems to be a running thing. You've got cab windows, and I don't think you have a cab interior. Let me just do this. There we go. No, I don't think we can see in. But they've even gone to the effort to make the windows that small. On the back, you've got plain detail there. As you see the camera stand in the reflection. You've got the Unipol magnets, which means they'll connect either way around. I've mentioned it many other times in other videos. But you've got black buffers too. They are slightly raised as well, so realism goes to them. The other side is basically the same. You've got nice six wheels. You've got um, the ladder going up to the cab, which blends in with the black. Now, I like this feature. They designed it with a grumpy face. Due to the modern, you know, all engines go and um, the recent toys of Diesel, they designed him with happy faces, even Ertl did. I mean, Ertl made him look a bit devious, but take and play, they didn't hold back, they made him look grumpy, and they did such a good job at it. It looks really good. And the, he's got raised buffers again, and the top is a bit plain, but I'm guessing when you get the talking version, this is the button, because it just seemed the right area the right mold for a button now if we look underneath it says the name diesel and it says they're 2009 galane thomas limited 2009 mattel incorporated china and there is a item number there but yeah oh i forgot to mention there's also step ladders here too so my point on this it looks amazing like a class oh shunter it just captures the oh shunter perfectly and it also captures Diesel's personality as well too, because Diesel's the antagonist, and this model looks really good for who Diesel is, because the face just gets it right, combined with his colour scheme, it just really matches Diesel, and I love it so much. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I've been seeing we've got a lot of views, and we're nearly at 100 subscribers. Please help me get there, I think we only need about 3 more. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!